Have you ever tried to navigate through the Kodi settings and options and you realize you have no clue, no idea what the hell some of these settings do or what they're capable of? Well, I'm going to show you and review some of these uh, settings uh, from what I know. I mean, I don't know everything, but I'm going to uh, tell you guys what I know. So let's get into it. Most of these settings um, and options are under, the, under systems. So go under systems. Uh, let's press uh, enter. So once you're in here, guys, okay, let's try appearance. Let's go to appearance. Enter. And if you go all the way down, see it says settings level basic. Press enter again until you see expert. See, it gives you more options to play with. So now let's go to skins. So if you go to the right, go to skins, enter. Now your default skin for Cody is called uh, Confluence. So if you wanna, uh, you know, add new skins, I guess the, the way the, the Cody looks like, and you kind of, you wanna spice it up, you know, go to get more. So once you download them, it's gonna end up on this page there, right? So go get more. As you can see, there's so many options in here, so many skins that you could download. It's just the way the, the code it looks like, you know. Uh, so just, uh, okay, I'm just going to download Ian Knox. Enter. And it's very quick, guys. Uh, it doesn't take nothing at all. It's installing. So once it's done installing, it's going to say, would you like to keep these changes? You would say yes. And then that's the new... Skin. So if you back out of here and you go all the way to the main menu, look, it's uh, it's it's all new. See, that's how that's what it looks like. So if you don't like it or you want to go back to the original, you will go to now. See, you might add some stuff in here too, right? So you might want to go to okay. So systems, you need to find it, appearance, and go to the right. It says skin. Ian Knox on the right side there. Enter. Then again, the default is conf uh, Confluence right here. So you press Enter. And it goes back to the original we had before. Would you like to keep these changes? You would say yes. And there you go. So again, if you want to you know, get more, you need to download more. And it's going to end up in this page, this little list here. Okay? So let's go to Settings. What's in Settings? You're going to have general settings here, uh, home window, backgrounds, and uh, add-on shortcuts. This stuff, guys, it's pretty much nothing. I will leave it the way it is, believe me. Leave that the way it is. You don't need to play around with that. Home window. This is if you want to hide, um, okay, the example, hide menu buttons. You know, if you want to hide, hide videos or hide music at the beginning. The like example, I don't usually use music and pictures so what i would do is i would click that off and i'll show you quickly how it looks like if you back out of here all the way to the main menu now look you don't have pictures anymore or music it's only weather and videos and programs and system so if you that's what it does so if you want to go back again settings you want to put it back oops sorry if you want to put it back just click the blue button here make it uh, don't make it blue and then uh, again that's what it does uh, backgrounds uh, now if you want I, I know I did a video on this but on my previous videos so you could hide some background fine arts I, I'll leave this the way it is so if you want a background guys, so here's an example. If you click that off, the original goes back. So I already have something in the background. That's how yours will look like. So if you want to put a background in there, you would uh, enable check mark this right here, enable custom backgrounds, make it blue. Then the path is open for you to get in. So you would press enter. And then you will go to any files, whatever your pictures or, uh, uh, or downloads of pictures are. And then you just choose whatever you want. And then that's a, what it would be, the background, right? 
So back out of that. Okay. Um, add on shortcuts. So what this does is, example, video submenu. You know the submenus under videos? You could put your favorite uh, add-on so you don't have to go in, into it. So example, add-on one, you would put, uh, example, stream hub. Okay, that's one of your favorites. So add two, you could put I stream, and three, example, I want to put yes movies. Okay, so on and so on with the music, some menus and pictures and all that. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Go all the way back, all the way back to the main menu. So if you go where the videos are, see how there's a, some menus there? Your favorite add-ons and you just go on and you click whatever you like and it'll launch instead of you going into, into here. So that's how you do that. So let me get rid of that. Oops, kind of forgot where I was. So let's go to settings. And add on right here. So I don't want. So you could do that with the other things too. But I don't want that. So if you don't want any more, guys, you go over it. You could choose another one if you like, or just go to none on top. It'll disappear. I don't want it, so I'll go to none. I want this to be the way it was before. So go to none, and that's that. So let's back out of that, and um, you could change the fonts in here, guys. You know the skin. You could change. You can make the you know uh, the fonts you know larger or uh, or whatever, whatever you guys like. You could change it. Uh, there's zoom. You could zoom the uh, the screen. See how it changes depending on what kind of TV you have. I will put it back to zero. Uh, start menu, start window. I mean, this is a, it's at the startup where you want the, the code to start you in. You know, uh, if you don't have TV and radio installed, you got program pictures, videos, and whatever. It'll, as soon as you launch Kodi, it'll, it'll go to one of these uh, windows that you pick. So uh, GUI sounds. See that noise every time I press enter and makes that noise. That's that's what these are. You could download these. Uh, you could go to get more. You know, just the the, the way uh, your Kodi sounds every time you press uh, enter or you go back. You'll make that sound. So example, bursting bubbles, whatever. Install that. Doesn't take long. See every time you move. You go up and down, or you go back, you know, it'll make a different noise. So let's go back. Okay, that one didn't make a back noise, but as you can see, that's what it does. Um, that stuff you could kind of leave it alone. Okay, show RSS news, uh, news feeds. You know, when you launch your code and you are at the main menu, where you see videos, program systems, on the bottom, it's going to show you here. Let me sh Let me show you. What I'm talking about. See on the bottom, it says coding. The coding news. It says that we are Google Summer of Code, of Code 2017. Blah blah blah. Coding 17.1. Krypton. That's the feed. If you don't want to see that, you could take that off. And believe me, if you take that off, it, it will actually make your uh, coding just a bit faster because you know it's not collecting that feed. So if you want, you could go. Uncheck it and it will no longer be there. So if you go back out, as you can see, look, it's no, it's no longer there. It's not coming up. So if you want to make your quota just a bit faster, enable that. Okay, so, but I'm going to go put it back. And that's about it for that. And uh, let's go to international. You're pretty much changing the language of the Cody region. Um, choose uh, what country. You you live in uh, keyboard. Leave that alone. You could change the format of the date, time, uh, or the format of the time. How you want it. You know that's uh, see. If you don't like the way it is, or that, 
So you could change the way you like. Oh, I like this style, I like that style. You could choose whatever you like. Um, you like a 12-hour 12, 12 format or a 24-hour format. The temperature, depending on what country you live in, people go in a Fahrenheit, Celsius, whatever you guys like. That's more for weather purposes. When you install the weather uh, on your code, it'll, it'll show up uh, that way. Um, speed unit, depending how you like that. Kilometers per hour, whatever, right? You get the picture. Um, that's about that. But that file list, uh, this you could just ignore. Uh, screen saves, um, you could check. You could choose how you want your uh, how the to dim your your device when you're not if it's untouched for more than a few minutes. You could choose you could go black screen saver or uh, dim or system. Okay, choose how how you want that. You could choose the 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 time the wait time till the dim starts. You could do a preview here. What you chose, which screen save you chose. Okay. So let's back out of here. Let's go to videos. Uh, this stuff I won't I won't even worry about too much. I will leave it the way they are. It's perfect the way it is. Uh, subtitles. If you want to change the subtitles, the size or the the style or the the color. If you don't like a white, you can make it whatever color you want. You know, you know stuff like that. So I won't even worry about that too much. Um, yeah, leave that alone. Uh, TV, we don't, you don't have TV installed in here, so I wouldn't even worry about this, guys. Uh, music, same thing. Pictures, the same thing. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, weather. Uh, if you want uh, the weather in the top left corner to show up as soon as you launch your device. I mean, uh, you, I downloaded Yahoo Weather, but... You could get more and you could download uh, whatever uh, service of weather you like. I, I, I found that the Yahoo weather is better and the only thing I can do is go to settings and then enter a location uh, where you live and it will pop up and it will give you the accurate weather and it will show up on the top left corner all, uh, all the time. Of course, if you're watching a video or a movie or, or something, it won't show. So that's but that add-ons. Add-ons you familiar with this? You install from zip file and install from the repository. That's where you will go. Now, if you go to the if you hang a left with your pad, or uh, if you have a phone or a tablet, you could touch the the little symbol there, the triangle sideways there. I'll put a mark on that. You see you you see some ups, options here settings. You can make a uh, few or kind of lazy. You don't want to update your, your Kodi add-ons uh, manually. You could just leave it on automatic. Um, or you could have it uh, notify me, uh, never, or on. Uh, you could leave it on and it'll just download as soon as you launch your, uh, your Kodi. And uh, if you're wondering, leave this on notification on. And any any updates will show up in this screen. If you want to check for updates, you can click on that. As you can see on the right side, on the top corner, it says checking for add-ons updates. Usually, if there is, it will show up between my add-ons and install from repository. So as you can see, there's nothing there. So we'll back out of here. Uh, services. You got general. Uh, you could. You could give your Kodi device, you know, its own name if you if you don't want Kodi. By default, it's Kodi, but you could change the device name to whatever you you will like. And um, whoops, kind of made a booby there. Give a Kodi. Here the way it is, and um, some of this stuff is uh, network stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get into this kind of things, guys. There's some personal stuff in there, but you guys could look it up your own time. Uh, systems. Video output. Uh, you could change the, 
the way the resolution or whatever it is but i will leave it the way it is it usually does it automatically guys now audio now if you guys have a receiver like a 5.1 surround sound 7.1 surround sound or whatever you have you could change you know if you have a uh, uh like a, a box an android box at home and it's hooked up to a receiver like a, a surround sound take advantage of this guys like example if you have a, a 5.1 surround sound go to number of channels enter and pick whatever how many channels you have or some people have 7.1 i like in my house i have a 7.1 surround sound you would choose whatever you would like that you will leave alone uh you could sh this you will leave alone um if you if your uh device your receiver if it supports uh dts hd you will go enter you will enable it so you make it blue uh, if you have dsp processing you will say yes okay uh you keep on going down enable if you have some of this stuff, go yes. If you have um, AC3 capable receiver, like I, I have this stuff, so I will go yeah. I have DTS capable, yes. I have all that, so you, you would choose that. If you have none of that, then, uh, then unclick no. But I have a lot of this stuff. So take advantage, guys. And it, you know it's amazing when you, you're watching a movie and coding, it's, everything's all surround. I'll put this back to 2.0. Of course, if you have uh, only two speakers, then you know, then leave it the way it is. Uh, input services. Uh, that's just if you have a, you can use a mouse to navigate the uh, the code. You just leave it the way it is. Internet access. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that because there's some personal stuff in there. But you guys could check that out. So that's about it about that, and. Um, that's about it about the systems and options. Now, you wanna watch a movie. Now, for some reason, you don't like this view. You know, the settings here. You don't, you don't like the, the view, the way it is. If you go to the left side with your with your pad, left left side, or just click with your thumb, uh, uh, I'll show you uh, where, to, where to click. I'll put a little symbol on that. This will pop up. See, it says view media info. If you change it, you could change to the way it looks. The view there's this one here view info three there's list um there's big list there is done this is my favorite right here is the, the thumbnail ones it just it just shows you more if you don't like that there's power this post to wrap you know if you like something like this Or you could go with fun art. It's like on the bottom and it gives you information on, on the top. Okay, or you could go you could go back. So just for that, I'm just gonna go with my uh this is my favorite right here. Let's say you're watching a movie, and okay, if you in the middle of a movie, if you press pause, see 1080 means it's, it's the best quality you could get then you got the 720 that's the uh, second best quality then you have uh sd if you see sd guys that's dvd quality just in case you know what that means then it says here it says your 2.0 that's the um the channel remember how earlier we did the uh the receivers if you have a surround sound it's just telling you that 2.0 uh it's gonna you could hear it from left to right speakers. Now, if you see 2.0, it will allow you to, if you have a surround sound, it will actually play through all, all the speakers, including the, the subwoofer. But if you see 1.0 here, guys, uh, sorry guys, you're only gonna hear left and right speaker, and uh, time to time you'll hear the, uh, the subwoofer go on. Believe me, I have uh, receivers downstairs on my basement and um, Every time I see 1.0, I kind of try to get an, uh, another link. But if that doesn't bother you, that's it's okay. Um, if, no, what some of these options mean over here. It says, okay, this here means on the bottom right here, it's subtitles. If you want subtitles for this movie, 
you will go here and you press download and it will show up here or sometimes if there's a movie that has um, subtitles uh, there's about 40% chance that you could go here and sometimes it says subtitles off you could click off and the subtitles will go away. It doesn't always happen. It depends on, on the movie or the link that you download from. So that's what it means. Uh, what does this mean here? The little uh, movie uh, wheel here. If you go in, you could change the, the video. Uh, you can make the view. You can make it custom, original size, stretch. I mean, if you have a movie that's four point uh like a standard uh movie like a 4.3 whatever it is you could stretch it to 16.9 or you could zoom it up or that's the original the standard one but i will leave it normal guys it's okay but it's up to you you could zoom the movie here the pixel ratio you could change it and all that um let's go back the here's a volume symbol what does that do I mean, the volume you leave alone, but what I usually do is, guys, the volume amplification, I usually put it around 12 to 14. And, and what it does is, once you get back out of here, the, the volume of the, of the movie is going to be louder, which means your controller, your remote controller, you could put it down. And uh, so you don't have to put too much volume. And um, what I would do here is if you're happy with it, press set as default for all media here, which means as soon as you back out of here, every time you watch a movie or TV show, it's always going to be at 14.0 here, uh, decibels. Okay. If not, if as soon as you back out, it's going to be, it's going to go back to normal. And what, a, what does this do, the little star here? This is just, just a bookmark. If you would decide to put a, halfway through the movie, you, you wanna decide to create a bookmark that will show up here. So you could go back into the movie again. So that's what it does, guys. Uh, so that's about it for this. Let's just say you have a favorite TV show or a favorite movie or even a favorite add-on that you, you guys like to watch. Um, you could put this on favorites and where is favorites i mean okay sometimes some add-ons they have a, a like a favorite section into the add-on you could go into and that's a, you, where you will find your favorites but let's say you don't have that add-on does not have that option this is what you do it doesn't matter if it's a movie or a tv show or even your favorite add-on if you have a uh, a keep a wireless keyboard or something you could press c highlight what you want press c or uh, hard press a few seconds, uh, highlight the, the, the TV show or the movie, or whatever it is you want to put it to favorites. And then this menu will pop up. And it, and it says here, add to favorites. So you press enter. Okay. And then uh, how, where you find it. I know some people know this, but if you keep on going back all the way to the main Cody menu. See in the bottom left corner. It is a star, which I have highlighted. Press enter, and it's gonna show up here on the right side. And again, if you put your favorite TV show, movies, or even uh, add-ons, it'll show up right here. It's, like a, it's almost like a shortcut, as you will. So instead of uh, you trying to hunt for it, you'll just find it there quickly. Uh, let's say you don't want it, same thing. Uh, hold press it or uh, press C or hold uh, your remote control, the three lines, you know, this will come up. You could remove it, rename it, you could even choose a different thumbnail if you don't like. But I'm going to remove it and it's no longer there. Now, then of course everybody knows the power button on the bottom left corner. That to turn off your code itself. Now, a lot of people, the mistake that they make is they do a hard... Uh, dashboard it to the main menu out of the Kodi and that's like a 50 50 chance because that's the wrong way of shutting down Kodi because what happens is um, sometimes when you do that uh, some add-ons will delete it by itself uh, I know it happened to me a few times uh, I even heard a lot of people complaining oh my my favorite add-on is gone is deleted it's not even here anymore 
So what happens is you have to go in and reinstall it again. And that and that's the reason why that happens, guys, is because you guys dashboard it quickly uh, to the main to the actual you leave Cody by itself. And it just for some reason, that's what happens. It just maybe it's a glitch they haven't fixed. Uh, or maybe they fixed it. I don't know. But that's what usually happens when you when you dashboard it quickly. So I suggest to press enter on the power button and then press exit to and just let it do its course. Let it go on its own. And then you go do your business. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope I didn't bore you to death. I hope uh, you learned something or you could pick something up from uh, this video that you could use. And then uh, I'll see you next time.